University of Windsor Ooh. Q and A. Future Lancers, potential Lancers. Mm. We got y'all with the questions and answers you need to know. Whether you've already applied for mm -hmm. going to Windsor or you already accepted your offer. Yeah. So we got you. Cue the intro. Yeah. Back on the road. Yeah, yeah. They see me, they chasing my soul. Trusted, I know. Yeah, yeah. For sure, they in it for more than my goals. Yeah, yeah. Try and be a surfer. Since mama gave birth, playing the role. Yeah. Alright, so welcome back to the <laughs> channel. Make sure y'all subscribe, like mm -hmm. the video. Right. This channel is all about providing you a daily dose of edutainment. Mm. My goal and aspiration in every single video is to both entertain you and to educate you. Big fact. That's why nice. I call it edutainment, you get me? So Ooh. we got a whole Windsor Lancer in the cut. <clears throat> Yeah. He's about to educate you on whether Lancer, whether Windsor is for you. Yeah, you know. Ah, <sighs> Windsor. Ugh. I love you guys though. I love you. It's my home. You feel me? That's why I became Mark Wave. You feel me? That's why I started. <laughs> oh yeah, R E X W A E V. You feel me? On all streaming, streaming platforms. platforms everywhere, bro. Search that. You know, Google me, Apple Music, all that, all that good stuff. <laughs> all right. First question is: uh, Was the transition from high school to uni difficult? Uh, how do I say it? I feel like it wasn't difficult, mm. but it was one of those where it took time to get used to, you feel me? Mm. Because imagine, like, I lived, oh, that's a low key. I lived on Reds first year, so it's kind of, like, different, you feel me? Yeah. Like, imagine being at your parents' crib, but now you're on Reds. You wake up whenever you want. You go to sleep whenever you want. You talk to whoever you want. You're on road whenever you want. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that's, a, that's like going from, like, here to, like, mm. you're, like, it's blessed. It's blessed. Yeah. Go to school, kids. Stay in school, you feel me? <laughs> uh, what's the weather like in Windsor? Uh, it's kind of cold, to be honest. And it's always like dark and gloomy, you feel me? Today we got like kind of beautiful days. You can clear skin and all that. But like, I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Windsor is one of those where it's like, it's kind of because Detroit River's like right there. Mm. So like, you get a lot of cold air and just tang all that from like just the Detroit River, but it's it's always summertime's blast. It's always hot. It's always beautiful. Mm -hmm. Summertime, wintertime, throw on your jacket. You feel me? Throw on your jacket. Stay cozy. No cap. <laughs> yeah. How far is like the border, like Detroit border? Yeah, like I that. can see the border from like my res. Like if okay. I look out the window, like the it's right there. Like literally, like. So the people like go there often, or it's just like. Yeah, big people always go there. High key. Like so my second year, my first weekend, I went to like. Easy tour in Detroit because, like, all I did is hop on a bus. Oh, sure. There's a bus that'll take you, like, right there. You got your passport, you flying, bro. Trust me. Okay. Like, it's lit. Trust. Um, <clears throat> are the professors nice? Um, are they what have you, what experience have you had, like, good or bad? The professors with professors, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna tell you this one story. All right, so I'm a criminology major, fourth year. You feel me? Educate yourself. But, like, I had this one crim teacher that I was trying to, like, it was kind of weird. He was trying to be a nice guy because you know those ones where he, they F with you and they like you and stuff? He tried to talk to me. But this man tried to be like, oh, yo, do you, do you have a charge or something? And I was trying to be like, do you have a what? A charge. Or, like, because he was talking about it was intro to crim. Intro yeah. to criminal. Do you have, like, a charge or anything oh, like that? Charge, and I was getting, I was getting offended because I thought it was, like, a race thing. <laughs> but then after, he's a big white dude, you feel me? But then after, he's like, oh, no, because I have a charge. I was like, whoa. <laughs> and he's like, he's, and the thing is, he's the nicest guy you ever meet in your life. That's why he stays school guys you don't cast no thing but like yeah. he's not even a, he's a session so he's not even real like a prof yeah. but like this guy because he caught a charge he couldn't what's called be like an actual technically he still is a professor you can teach and everything but this guy's the nicest guy you ever meet but like it's one of those where some profs will be like so down to earth where they'll try to talk to you and communicate you and understand you yeah. because they want to you feel me some but then some profs because they're just trying to get paid in the classrooms imagine if you're in the classroom for like a hundred some, not even hundred, maybe like 200, 300 people. Yeah. Auditorium is mad huge. You feel me? How is the professor really gonna know your name? You know those ones? Like, but like, and you're in a smaller classroom, like it's better. You feel me? You get to communicate, talk to talk, and you, you know the dude who's next to you. So then you be like, yo, like, let me help you. You feel me? But then the teacher will also see that. So the teacher will try to help you on that question. Well, speaking of which, so our class size is small, or how are they? Class size. Typically, I feel like they're. It's one of those where they're a mix of both. Like we have this one auditorium called like. A Dylan Hall mm. or like Dylan like building. It's kind of they have like smaller classrooms, like maybe like fifty people. Where I feel like to be honest, those are my best classrooms because the desks are pretty lit and it's one of those desks are important. If you're in university, you know how important desks are. You have those ones where like you lift it up and then you turn and you place it. <laughs> I'm like those are trash, bro. I'm trying to sit for an exam. You're like <laughs> you trying to write. Yeah, it's just mad stressful. But when you have like the smaller classrooms, it's actually where you like those are better. I feel like it's to be honest, it's like a. 
60-40, like 60 uh, small classes, 40 big classes, but it's one of those where like small classes are always best. If you can get those, you, I feel like you learn more because the prof is so close to you. You can't even get distracted by being on your phone because he'll see you. But you're, if you're in like a big class, bro, you can do whatever you want. You feel like you're you're not there low key, but it's kind of yeah, honest. Yeah. But. So would you say like, if you want to like actually see them in their office hours and stuff like that? Okay, let me tell you something <laughs> about me, guys. I'm a social, anti-social person, okay? Mm. I can talk to anybody I want. But like when it's talking to a prof, my phone dropped loud. <laughs> <laughs> but like when it's talking to a prof, it's kind of, I feel like it's kind of weird. Like I talk to them like after class, cause like I, I just seen them. But if I have to go out of my way office, it's kind of weird to me. I feel, how do you feel? I feel like if you want to like actually build a relationship and yeah. have them know you as not just a number. Facts. Then facts. maybe it's important. see them on their office hours. Yeah. But other than I that. Do. They probably don't know you. Yeah, they don't know you, bro. They, they know you, your number is still. They'll be like, if you raise your head in class, they'll be like, yo, what's your name? And they'll start to, but that's only if you, like, yeah. you want it. Certain classes, if you're interested, then you'll be like, yo, yo pick me, pick me. Mm. But in, like, other classes, they won't get to know you because you're not really speaking out on me vocal. Yeah. Just preference, you feel me? I'd be comfortable. <clears throat> How hard was it to get in? How hard is it to get in? Is it to get in? Uh, It's hard, but at the same time, I feel like it's not that hard. You gotta, I feel like you gotta want it, bro. Like, to be honest, I wanted to go to university because I'm like, first, I wanted to get an education. I wanted to be, um, I wanted to, like, I like learning. It's kind of weird like that, but, like, I wanted to take it to the next level. So how hard you want it is me grinding, you feel me? I was like, yo, I'm going to go out. I'm going to study. I'm going to do all this shit. And then, like, once you actually do it, you'll be able to get it because you know you work toward it, you feel me? It's all about your grind, you feel me? If you grind harder, you work smarter, you can get whatever you want, bro. Whatever and even, like... Cause like the thing is, cause we live in Canada, right? Facts. Like watching this, yep. they only really look at you like pretty much your grade twelve marks. Exactly. So, so like grade nine, like, ten, and eleven didn't matter. With pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I so mean, if you're in the states, that's a different ooh, thing. Oh, cause like, they, and all that. I don't, yo, it's Bro, like, you, I don't <laughs> understand. Can we talk about it? Y'all do not understand that whole thing. How are you trying to tell me for me to graduate to get to university? It's not just my grades. You got, got to do another test. Like, Bro, it's not like it's law school or something. It's not like it's <laughs> med school. It's basic common, common university, And then when I tried you, like, how bare dollars Big Rob, and USD is not cheap, bro. Holy, bro. Can they, uh, uh, Americans, I don't know how y'all do it. To be honest, we love you. But like, God bless. You know, I'm, I'm going to pray for you. Feel me? I'm right. right you know, I'm going to pray for you. <laughs> but yeah, so as a Canadian, the only way we look at, universities in general only look at your grade twelve marks. Facts. So if you can kill grade twelve, I mean like the habits will build up if you were facts. doing well. Mm, grade facts. nine, ten, eleven, oh, twelve. Yeah. But let's say for whatever reason you messed up up until grade eleven. Now they want <laughs> now you wanna fix up. Yeah, you yeah. could fix up. But it's, kind of, it's a look of heart still. A look, yeah. Just look COVID. Cool because your habits aren't there. Facts. You can still kill it though. Never stop trying. Um pros and cons of winter. <laughs> Probably cause of winter. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know. See, the thing is, winter's lit. Mm. But, like, you meet a lot of people. I, okay, I'm gonna be like, all right. Pros of winter is that winter has, like, a small campus. It's not small, but, like, all the buildings are close together. So, you feel me? If you, like, walk into your next class, you'll see someone, you know, you feel me? Or you'll see a prof or something. Like, I feel like small allows you to communicate more. You feel me? It allows you to build that relationship and build a closer bond. Because all the people I go to winter that I talk to, they're all my pros for like life you feel me mm-hmm. but it's one of those where like if it was a bigger classroom or a bigger like uh campus it'd be harder to find people and talk to people about stuff but like, cons is that to be honest oh cons is that if you're in a different program as someone you're likely never gonna see them you feel me mm. like imagine being on campus here you Imagine like the campus is right here. Don't mind my shitty like directions. <laughs> 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 like campus right here, the business buildings right here, and then like the engineering buildings right here, and the libraries all the way in the back. You feel me? Mm. So it's like if you're in like sociology, criminology, and like nursing and like public all the social sciences. You feel me? You're all in one area. But if you have a boy who's in business like I do, or a boy who's an engineer, you're never seen them. You feel me? Because mm. in their building they ain't got a Tim Hortons. Some of the buildings have a Starbucks. You feel me? They they bougie. They live in a blessed lifestyle. But we we go to one building mm. for a Tim Hortons <laughs> and the, the boosted juice and all that. You feel me? But like I'd rather be able to link some of my boys in other programs because then it builds a closer bond mm. and it builds school spirit. You feel me? That's yeah, what's yeah, important. Yeah. You want that school spirit. It's there, but we need more of it. Shout out you Winter Lancers. <clears throat> oh important one. Uh, what do you think about the dorms? Like Dorms. Dorms and stuff like that. Okay. It depends which halls. Okay, so I lived in Mac Hall. There's Mac Hall and Laurier, right? Those are two types of buildings. But it's one of those where, like, it's lit 
because you can go from floor to floor and have boys and homies and the tanks <laughs> <laughs> different floors where like you can talk to them and meet new people every single day like i was going floor to floor like just because i was bored you feel me but it's one of those where like the room sizes were a bit pinch like pinch i mean like small you feel me so it's one of those where like imagine like your roommate was like like right there like on his side like his shoulder like you feel me his right shoulder like really like it's mad close like if you get up and like okay let me tell you one example it's kind of reckless like first year i was beefing with some dude right he was we had a fight you feel me but we were inside the room like i fell on my roommate <laughs> 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 the dude fell on him like that's how close the beds were we were at my bed and like we took like a step over and we were already like falling on him we woke him up he was so upset he was a cool dude shout out joel <laughs> he was, he was, you feel me? that's how close it was like a bad pinch you feel me yeah yeah but yeah some of them, but that those are like lawyer and Mac. But if you go to like alumni, if you have like an 80 and above average or you're like a nursing special program, engineer, all that, your room, bro, you have your own freaking room, you have your own washroom, you got a local kitchen, you feel me? Sheesh. They got bare space. We don't party or you gotta be in. Uh, serious. Last one is does, does Windsor party a lot? And is it fun and res? I'm on you, Lancers. I'm with you, Lancers. You know the parties are lit. <laughs> I had no pause. You see me looking at the camera like parties? Bro, parties got so lit that I, I just had to start throwing on parties. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like, I had to start, to start being out there like, I want something that have a party cut. You feel me? Like, I had to be like, all right, give me that, bro. Because it's like, DJ's parties be like, house parties and then the club, DT. Club is like, bro, 15 minute drive. So that's a Uber. That's like nothing. That's really like shit. 10 15 dollars max or hop on the bus if you're like about that life but yeah. <laughs> you feel me like the okay, dt is like right there and it's super lit probably only like friday and saturday any other day or like wednesday ball wednesdays but those are that's kind of we won't talk about that yeah, yeah so, uh, <laughs> but like house party lit you was it lit Oof. Not, like Western and Lawyer, oh. all those places. Now the thing is we're not though. Well we try. You feel me? We try. Parties on a daily. You gotta know the right people. You feel me? Africans stay lit. Shout out my African people, you know. Gang gang. <laughs> <laughs> so, so like the rest of the parties is yeah, they go on. You feel me? Yeah. Cat party here and there. I don't know. I have. Appreciate you linking me. Don't know, friend, don't know. Brody, brody. Hey man. Mm. Hopefully this was a Good education for all those ones, people that want to be Lancers one day. Reach. <laughs> Reach. I'm dead. Hey man, y'all make sure you check out Dio, Rex Wave. R E X W A E V U, Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, YouTube Music, SoundCloud, all that, bro. All that stuff. Mm. Keep his music. Check yeah. it out. And y'all already know the motto. If mm. it doesn't feed you, then don't water it. Mm. Mm. And always mm. keep that same other effort and energy. Keep that same, please. Keep it bro, 1K. Please. Be authentically you. 100K, bro. And even those that looked at you, mm. whether that be your YouTube, mm. your music, mm. your drawing, mm. and they doubted you, I mean, overlooked you, slept on you. Slept? But now that they start seeing some success, the cloud? now they want to show love. Mm. The fat's fake love, actually. Fake love, ooh. Tell them. Keep that, that same, same energy. energy. Keep clean, bro. Keep clean. That's all you can do with Keep me. that same energy. Keep that same love. Mm. Okay. All right. God bless. Much Jeez. love. Peace and joy. Gross. Namaste. This is. <laughs> what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ace of spades, four cards in a day, four broads in LA, four broads in a day, that's a hell of a state. Maybe a getaway, bring me slice of my bread, that's a getaway. 